Greetings, Mike here with another Minecraft tutorial video. This time around, I'll be showing you how to do a nice compact multi-switch combination lock. Now you may have seen those combinations where it's like a switch, space, switch, space, switch, space. Or maybe they're close together like this. This one is two tiers. So in a little three by two space, you can fit six switches. <laughs> I've outlined the switches that need to be on in yellow, so it's easy for me to uh, set it up from the back. And then afterwards you can come back and replace the yellow blocks and switches and torches, or maybe you'll find it another way. So for starters, flip all the switches that need to be on into the on position, which is down. On the other side of the wall, place a torch on each square. We'll be changing them around. Uh, this is where you would, um, if you wanted all the, if you didn't want to put gold blocks up there, then you would use the torches as references instead. So for, for starters, all the torches that are off mean that the block they are attached to is being powered. As you can see, this redstone is powered because this yellow block is, you know, unpowering the torch. So, for all the, for the lower row, first of all, all the blocks that are, or all the torches, rather, that are off, put a yellow, or a, for all the torches that are off, place a bit of redstone dust and remove the torch. For all the torches that are on, remove the torch and place this, a block, with a repeater. The torches were on because the blocks were not powered, so the repeaters won't be powered. Next, down here in front of the redstone, um, dig uh, one space and put a torch down there, so that'll turn it off. We want the entire current of all the buttons, whether they're on or off, to be ending up off. That's the way I like to do it. Make a trench, the length of all your buttons, and connect the redstone dust. Send this out to the top here. There. So currently the door is open because we have answered the correct code. It's not all wired up yet though. For the next row, place a block in front of the repeaters. Length of your code. Now, these two are already off, so that's done. This one, however, needs to be inverted. So place a redstone repeater and another block and then a torch there. Keep everything all kind of bunched together. Put a block there to bring your redstone down. Oh yes, don't forget to connect that so that this torch is off. And then connect the redstone to the main line. And that's it. It's very simple. The uh, 3 by 2 is now all wired up, so that when we flip one of these off, the door will close, unless we have the correct password. There it is. And then we can go get our fat loots. Now, how would you like to have a much longer combination? Let's set that one up. First, set all your switches to the result position, and let's go wire that up. All right, so for the locks on the bottom, we'll 
those ones are all going to have repeaters. Repeaters are there so that the torches above them don't affect them. These should all be uh, separated. And then there's a gold there. And there. Oops. These can actually all be attached together. Because no matter which one is on, it will gain power. Mm, I wonder about that. So that one's on. If that one's off, it'll still do power. Ooh. That's, I don't think that's going to work, actually. <clears throat> I'll try it out. Um, hmm. Let me see. I don't. I think I goofed there. Mm. These three lines are going to have to be separate somehow. Well, that's a pain. Alright. Well, we're going to have to separate you guys. Uh, let's see here. And go one. Uh, we'll leave that one at the front. And then we'll have to put a block here. Oh, that line is going to be... Oh, man. This is getting complicated already. That one's going to be off. So, that torch off. So that's there. That's there. That's there. Okay, I'm probably going to need a repeater here. But now that torch is in the way of that torch. Um, no, it's not. Uh, no, no, that'll work. Okay, so that's been handled. Um, let's see here. For this row... There we go. That's... Oops, that one's missing a torch. There we go. And then the red one has to be separate from the line. It has to be inverted first. So I'm going to put that there. These two can't touch. So that means that this one's going to have to be sent out one more. The more complicated you make it, the more space it'll take. And then that one can actually be directly connected to that line. And these are off, so that's good already. And this one here is off, which gets pushed into this block, which connects with that line. This one is on. That needs to be extended. That one can be extended one block. And then we can take this line here, drop it down there. And then drop it down into the main line behind the repeater, which will be good. This one here needs to be off. So that's alright. That one's off. This one's off. This one's off. That's good. This one here has not been touched though, so this one's missing a torch. This one will end up being on. Well, here's the complications part. And this one here will be a torch, which is powering this part. This block will go into there, which is turning that on. It shouldn't be. So this will go up one and turn that torch off which will connect down here to the main line. 
And this torch also has to be off, which can connect there. All right, that's right. And that one there will connect to that line. And this one here, which goes through the bottom, will meet up. Oh, that's not right. That one's powering that block, which means that's got to go one out into this block, which will then <coughs> directly connect with that block. There. That should be it. The door is open. Everything's working. Alright, I always have problems when I do this. So this one is down, which means it is powering Oh wait, the door's closed. Well, that's correct. Well, there we go. If there are any problems, well, let me know. I may have goofed. I have recorded this video about four times now. But there, that should be it. That should be all the wiring needed. So four blocks out. All the way to the end. There it is. A many, many switch combination. I think this is 22. Um... Oh, that was pretty clever right there. I like that. After rendering the um, the full video, I've noticed that uh, I goofed. <laughs> this uh, block right here is going into this repeater, but this repeater isn't going into anything. So I need to rearrange a few things. Um, the repeater is pushing the signal through this block, which means it has to come out the back somehow. And this repeater here is being powered, so the power's got to come out of there somehow too. So I just need to push the signal through to here. Like this. Um... I think that's wrong. Uh, da, 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 the signal is going to be off, so I don't need to invert it. It's just got to go through there, so that's just going to go down and connect. And then this one here is going to go through, and that one does need to be inverted, like that. And it'll connect to that dust, which will connect to there. So now that should be fixed. So if I go over here, uh, imagine this doesn't exist because at this the point where I'm going to insert this clip, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> um, there we go. Yeah, before this switch wasn't connected to anything. So that works. So uh, I now return you to your regular schedule, schedule, scheduled... I now return you to your regularly scheduled or scheduled program uh, anytime in the in the next little clip that you see that this part isn't finished just ignore it